Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this quick tip video is on creating linked views for navigating inside of SolidWorks Composer. This is an example of what you can get after you link views to a SolidWorks Composer assembly. This is the SolidWorks Composer free player, and if I want to navigate this assembly and all these views on the left, one easy way to do it is just to click on the view that I want to navigate to. And when I navigate to that view, it will have the original view to navigate back to. So I can easily construct a user interface that allows anybody that opens this free viewer to quickly navigate to these views and back to the original assembly without really knowing anything about the software but double clicking. So let's show you how this is done inside a SolidWorks Composer. If we're inside a SolidWorks Composer and we have a particular view that we'd like to link the information to, you can go into that view and then you can click drag and drop with the control key down the other view that you want it to go to. Now if I'm doing a view like this where it'll go to another view, I would like to go in and put an attachment type on this. So under the attachment type, I might put a simple attachment and an arc tool type of attachment and then go point it to the piece that it's going to open. So you can kind of see what's going on there. So that's how you create the link view. Now let's go test this one and put the other view that comes back. So to test it, you have to get out of design mode. This is how you toggle out of design mode and back into it. And if I get out of design mode and then click on this, let me go ahead and, and update this image first so this is all updated. But now when I click on this, it'll go ahead and navigate to that other view. So now if I want to go ahead and put the other view back in or have it navigate back to the overall assembly or something, whatever view I want it to navigate back to, again, all you do is click on that view and drag and drop whatever view it is that you want it to go to. On this one, I might not put the arrow going back to it, right? That wouldn't make sense. So in this case, I'm pretty much done and I could go ahead and, and save this view or update this view. And I've now got that navigation view put in place to go back to. So again, pretty easy to do. You can click in whatever original view you want. You can go in from there and grab the view that you want it to go to. In this case, it'll be this one. I'll drag and drop that in. Let go of the view. That's linked. This one, let me go ahead and update that. So it updates the view I'm in. And I can go ahead and create that additional link going back here where I can go in, take it out of the play mode, put it back into design mode to go ahead and put your attachment type back onto this label. And you can do this at really any time and point it to something that's logical and update your view. Let's take a quick look at what SolidWorks Composer is doing underneath the properties pane when we click the image that we dragged and dropped and we go down to the link button underneath the link button it's automatically linked to the view number or the view name that it goes to if you just came down and clicked in this this gives us our different linking options we could link it to the previous view the next view the first view the last view or we can just go ahead and click on view and then type in the name or click the named view that's saved and it'll go ahead and use that name to make that the next name or the next view that it goes to. And that's really what you do to create linked views for navigating inside SolidWorks Composer. Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.